Hey, what is going on everybody? Josh Quinones here and today I am going to be doing a full walkthrough of the Good Lock 2019. Now, in one of my previous videos where I show all of you what's on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, including some of the customization settings that you can only do using this app right here, you guys actually asked me to do a full walkthrough of this app so you can be able to fully customize your Galaxy device as well. So that's exactly what we're going to do today, a full walkthrough of this app. Now, in order to get this app you actually just have to go right into the Galaxy Store. Now, this app isn't tied down to just the Galaxy S10 series. You can actually get it on your Note 9, your Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, S8, and so on. All you got to do is go to the Galaxy Store, and then you can just search up Good Luck 2019, and it should pop up right here, this icon saying Good Luck. All you got to do is tap on it and then download. Now, as you can see right here, I already have it downloaded. So let me go ahead and get it right open. And this is the screen you are going to be greeted with. It says, good luck, redesign your Galaxy. Now, it gives you a bunch of different options right here that you can choose from to customize your device. You got Lockstar, which is create new lock screen style. You got Quickstar, which is customize your special quick panel. The task changer to task changer with a new style. You got the clock face, pick a clock style you like, and then multi star, enjoy enhanced multi window experience, and then the nav star, create your own navigation bar. So we're gonna go through all of these today with the first one being the lock star. Go ahead and click on that. Now, as you can see, I currently have it off. All you gotta do to turn it on is press this little toggle right here, and boom, it'll turn right on. Now, I was currently messing with it uh, earlier, and I already had a couple things set up on here. Usually, if you're brand new to this app, you'll get uh, just a blank screen right here with the little plus sign in the middle. So that's what you're gonna wanna press. But for me, if I wanna start off fresh, I gotta press the little plus sign up there, and it brings me to this screen right here, which will allow you to change the background, the clock, and item visibility. So first we're gonna pick our background. Now, as you can see right here, you are able to pick a background from your gallery. And if you don't wanna pick anything from your gallery, they got a few selections right here that you can pick as well, as you can see here, and they go right away. So let me go ahead, let's see, I'll go ahead and pick this one just for the heck of it. So we got our background, let's go ahead and pick our clock. So go ahead and press clock, and they got tons of different clocks to choose from, including clocks in text. If you want, look at this, it's two to 10. So it actually says it in text instead of showing actual clock. And then you got an actual looking clock right there, which you can use as well. Let's go ahead and leave that one there just because it looks cool. Now let's go ahead and check out item visibility. And now this allows you to be able to pick and choose what, what notifications you want to show up. If you want to hide your clock, if you want to hide some text. So as you can see right here, the clock is showing. If I click this right here, it disappears. So you can have it showing or you can have it disappear. But of course we want our clock to show. Now you can also let show the help text. If I press this up here, swipe screen to unlock. So most people don't really like that up there. So you can always take that off. You got the notifications. Look at that. It goes away. You can reappear right there. And then the status bar, it's not going to show right here, but it will allow you to make the status bar disappear or you can show it. And then you got lock status icon where it's going to show you the little lock up here to let you know that your device is locked. I'm going to go ahead and leave that off. And then you got the lock button, turn that off. And then the music controller up front to access as soon as you open your device. You got the music changer right there. So that's really up to you if you want to leave that on or not. You can turn that off as well. So this is basically how you're going to customize your lock screen. And then once you're done with all of that, picking everything you want to pick, all you got to do is press save and boom, it automatically saves it for you. So now I'm just going to pick that one, applying the style and it's done. So let's go ahead and go to our lock screen and see what it looks like. And there you go. We got our clock. We got a little notification showing down there with the date and it's working good. So let's go ahead and get back into the device. Let's go back and also on this screen right here, you can pick the unlock type that you want to do. You can swipe, swipe up, swipe down, left or right. Go ahead and just leave it on swipe. And then you got apps shortcut interaction, which you can use Samsung's default touch or double touch. It's really up to you, whichever one you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on Samsung default. And another thing that I forgot to show you guys on here, let's see if I click and hold and edit it. If you see a little plus sign down here, you can actually add an app shortcut. So it's gonna take you to all your apps right here and you can actually add a shortcut. Let's go ahead and add, let's add maps. Go ahead and press that, apply. 
and it'll add maps right to the front of your screen. So let's try it out, open it up, and boom, maps are part of your shortcut now. So that's how you do that. Let's go ahead and go back into the Good Lock app. So that is the Lockstar, how you're going to customize your lock screen. And also on this screen right here, you can pick the unlock type that you want to use, whether it's swipe, swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, or swipe right. We're just gonna go ahead and leave it on swipe. And then you got app shortcut interaction, Samsung default, touch or double touch. Let's go ahead and leave it on Samsung default. And then you got use system clock. Show the clock selected in settings. You can change clock's color. So this is basically another option we have to be able to change the clock. Now we did pick a clock earlier, but this is just more settings, more options we have to choose from. You can choose any one of these. Let's go ahead and pick this one right here. And then you can also change the color of the clock from here. Gives you a lot of options to choose from. You can use one of these defaults or you can click this down here and pick any color you want and then press done, done. And then it will apply so we'll go ahead and click. It's not gonna show up on the screen right here, but we're gonna go ahead and pick that to choose that lock style. Now look at this. Go ahead and lock it, open it up, and look at This is the setting we choose, the color we chose for that clock. So you know that works perfectly fine. Let's open this back up. And then keep system wallpaper style will be applied with wallpaper. This will work from the next style change. So basically what this is doing is keeping this same wallpaper for every setting that you choose. So say you make one, two, three, four different types of lock screens, it's going to keep that same wallpaper for you. But if you turn it off, it'll go back to the original wallpaper that you had before. Okay, so on to the next one, we got Quick Start. Customize your special quick panel. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Now the quick panel is what you're gonna pull down right down here. Now you can pick their presets that they have right here. What do you want to do with the colors you choose? Go ahead and apply this. So these are the presets that you have that you can choose from. As you can see, it'll change the color of your quick panel. You pick this one, purple, pull it down. You can see it turns it purple. We got blue over here, apply and it turns it blue. So we'll go ahead and leave it like that for now. Now, visibility of indicator icons determines whether the status bar icon is displayed. Now, you can choose home screen, show network information on the idle, the lock screen, show network information on the key guard, extended panel, show network information on the center of the screen with the panel expanded. Now you can turn these on, you can turn them off. It's up to you if you want to have those selected or not. Now down here, you can have the mobile data signal showing or not showing. So as you can see right now, I don't have it showing. So if I click this, it will show right there, turn it off. And then same thing with the Wi-Fi. I'm currently running it on Wi-Fi right now. So let me go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi on and the Wi-Fi pops right up on top. So you can choose whatever you want to show up there. If you don't want it so cluttered, you can actually turn everything off. So, but I do like it to show the volume. So I'll have the volume there, the battery icon. I like that. So I'll have that right there as well. And then everything else I'm going to leave off, but this just gives you an idea of what you can be able to allow to show up on your notification bar. So next thing we can change on this page is the clock position. You can either have it on the left, like I do right here, 10:29 p.m. Yes, it is a little late that I am making this video, but you can have it on the left. You can hide it so it doesn't show at all, or you can have it on the right. Now, me personally, I do like it on the left because then it just starts to get too cluttered up here on top, in my opinion. So I go ahead and keep it on the left and I'm good to go. All right, so moving on to the next customization choice is the task changer. Task changer with new style. This is actually one of my favorites because I'm able to customize my task manager any way that I want to. So I currently have it on and the layout type I have right now is carousel. And there's different kinds. You got stack, list, grid, and carousel. Now let me show you the one I have, the carousel, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Look at this, look at that effect. It is absolutely amazing. It looks clean, it's smooth, it looks great. Now, the cool thing about the carousel, you can actually change the scroll effect you have. So the one I have is cube in right now, but let's say I want to do it rotation up. Go ahead and pick that. Now look at this, it changes the way it scrolls side to side, the whole look of it, it's rotating up just like it shows, kind of like a clock rotating this way or that way. And if I go back, it's do rotating down. And look at this, it changes which directions the panels are now facing, giving it a different look. And if you don't want to use the carousel, you have other options to choose from. Like I said, you got stack right here, which is kind of basically like a stack of cards, which actually looks pretty cool as well. 
And then you got the list, which is basically just like a list. You can just scroll up and down. That one looks nice as well. And then you got the grid, which is basically like the list as well, but you got one on each side. So that is pretty cool as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on carousel because that's the one I personally like. Now you also got a mini mode. Now this is for one-handed users if you like to use your phone with one hand most of the time. So if you turn this on, now look at this, it makes everything small and towards the bottom. So if you're holding your phone like this, you can just easily use it with your thumb and pick the one you want. But me personally, I actually like it big because I just think it looks cool to be honest when it's bigger like this. Now the next one is blur background effect. Now I currently have that applied. Now if you see when I go into the task manager, everything in the background is blurred. But if I turn it off, you'll be able to see everything in the background more clearly. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on blur because I'm loving the blur effect and it just helps you to focus more on what you're doing right here within your task manager. And then the last thing on this page is center the currently running app. Now if I turn this off, if you notice here, it's not on the app we are currently on. It's bringing us to the quick panel start, which is what we were talking about before. So if I turn this on, now when I go into it, what's gonna be in the center is the app we are actually on. So that is the task changer settings. Next is the clock face. Pick a clock style you like, which is kind of like we did earlier, but this is just giving you even more settings, more options to do so. You can either choose to do it on your always on display or your lock screen or both of them. So we'll go ahead and use the always on display. Let's check it out. So you can pick the type you want. If I want it on the edge, I can pick it on the edge. I can actually pick two times. I'm in California right now, but if I want one for New York, I can add that there as well. And there's just tons. I like this one. This one's actually pretty cool because it shows you the time, the date, and it actually shows you things that you have scheduled for that day. If you have something in your calendar, it'll have it all for you right here. So you don't actually have to go into your phone to look at your calendar to see what you got going on that day. You just kind of wake up the always on display and boom, it is right there letting you know what to do next that day. And then we got other ones like this where you can actually add an image or an animated GIF or GIF. I don't know, everybody pronounces that different. And then we got the regular clocks like we saw earlier, but let's go ahead and let's, let's actually leave it on the edge. Go ahead and press done. Go ahead and go home. Let's go ahead and go to our always on display and you can see it there popping up on the edge. So it works perfectly. So next on the list is multi-star. Enjoy enhanced multi-window experience. Now this is actually pretty cool because this gives you the ability to multitask. True multitasking, you can use two apps at the same time, whether it's watching YouTube and doing something else on another app without having to pause the YouTube video while you're doing something else. You can do them both at the same time. So it actually gives you kind of an example out here of how it works. You can change split screen color. So basically the bar that's going to be in the middle, you can pick what color you want. Let's go ahead and pick blue, press done. Now you can use multi-window without pausing. You can have that on or off and then enable multi-window to all apps, which I have it enabled to all my apps. Now keep in mind, this might not work with every single app that you do have in your device. So you're kind of just gonna have to go through it, see what works and what doesn't. Now another option on here is the pop-up view option, which is actually pretty cool. So all you gotta do is swipe from the left corner down and boom, look at that. It gives you a little pop-up window, which you can drag anywhere on the screen that you want. You can change how transparent you want it, if you want it really light or really high, so you can be able to see it clear. You can actually shrink it down to just the icon and put the icon everywhere you want, move it to the side for later, so you can jump right back into it. Boom, look at that. And then you can also make this, you can get rid of this or you can just make it big again. Okay, now if you want to use multi-window, let's say I wanna stay on the screen, continue doing what I'm doing, but maybe I wanna watch a little bit of YouTube as well. So I'm gonna stay here, go ahead and go into my task manager. And let's see, I got YouTube right here. So I'll just press and hold. I can either drag up or drag to the bottom to have it down there. Let's go ahead and leave it on the bottom. And boom, it is already automatically playing the YouTube video for me. I can always pause it and pick something else I want. I can scroll through YouTube. Let's see if I wanna go back, pick a video I want, or I can mess with whatever I'm doing up here. And you can actually 
scroll both at the same time. So this is true multitasking right here. And I really like it. And I think it's a cool feature that Samsung brought to these devices. All right, so last on this list of customization is the Navstar. Create your own navigation bar. Now, as you can see, I already got the stock navigation bar down here. This is just the way I like it. I like having my back button over here, my task manager over here, and then the home button in the middle. But if you want to change it to your liking, you can go ahead and go in here, turn this on. Now they already have a bunch of preset ones right here that you can choose from and they change on the fly. So if I want to pick this one, boom, changes automatically. If I want to pick this one, boom, changes automatically. But if you don't see anything that you like here, you can actually create your own. So we'll go to new configuration and then you can change the background color of the background that you actually want your navigation bar. And then you can change the button layout. So they got a default setting right here for you, or you can put it to right aligned left aligned, or you can add a button. So let's say we want to add screen off. You just click that, boom, it automatically pops up and you don't actually have to keep it there. You can actually move it wherever you want. So if you press and hold, I can move it over here. Boom, look at that. Maybe it's easier access for me on that side. I can put it there and then you can add up to one more. So let's go ahead and say the camera, boom. So you got five buttons in your navigation bar and you can move this one as well. Can move them wherever you want and then you're ready to go so i think it's pretty cool that you are able to customize your own navigation bar and add more buttons if you want to just make it easier on yourself so aside from adding extra buttons to the navigation bar and moving them where you want to you can also change the icons of the buttons you have on your navigation bar so let's go to icons now you can also change the transparency if you want it a little lighter or more visible and then adaptive icon colors, you can turn that off or leave it on. And then you can change the icons in your navigation bar. So let's see, if I wanna change the home button, I can pick any one of these icons that I want. Let's say I want this, look at that. Changes the icon of the home button. Now, I'm sure most people aren't gonna want that as their home button, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea. So it's so cool how much Samsung gives us within this GoodLock 2019 app to be able to customize our device as much as we want to. But yes, this GoodLock 2019 is absolutely amazing. I love that I can customize my device the way I want to, to make it more comfortable to my liking. Now, I really hope that this video was able to help somebody out that was wondering how GoodLock works and how you're able to customize your device using it. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. And if you guys have any other questions about this app, if maybe there's something that I forgot to mention or that I didn't cover, leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to give you an answer for that. But for now, this is Josh Kino. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.